women do not do this it's stupid Okay, let's get into it. <laughs> We've talked about this before. I think last time we talked about it, though, it was over men who were getting sterilized, who were having vasectomies. Over, I think it might have been th during when Roe v. Wade was overturned. Um, or it was some, or it might have been the Democratic primary. Whatever it was, men were lining up to get vasectomies in solidarity with the Democratic Party. I don't know, something incredibly stupid. But look, women are getting sterilized after Donald Trump's victory. It's the only option, apparently. Sterilization is the only option. Permanent or temporary, that apparently is the only option to these people. Here's another option. Don't have unprotected sex. Keep your legs closed. Alter your behavior to reduce your risk. And that's the thing, right? I don't understand why the, the, I, these people have to be mentally unwell. The, the first response, the first you know, avenue that these people are taking is to get sterilized. When the obvious answer is if you're worried about the risk of something, then you alter your behavior to reduce that risk, i.e. don't sleep around. Don't have a lot of unprotected sex and you won't get pregnant. Don't have any unprotected sex and you won't get pregnant. Don't, no sterilization required. It's not a procedure you'd expect a 28-year-old to be planning, but for Lydia Eccles from Texas, having her fallopian tubes removed is the price she's willing to pay to ensure her reproductive rights. And that's permanent, right? Permanent sterilization because Donald Trump was elected. Because you can't murder your child. Because you can't have an abortion. Newsweek spoke to five women who have, their, who have either undergone sterilization procedures or plan to in the wake of President-elect Donald Trump's victory on November 5th. They all expressed fear their reproductive choices will be taken from them under Trump's administration. If I am to, to be denied any rights in the next four or more years, I will not give them up without a fight, Echo said. Yeah. Yeah. Sterilizing yourself, that's, that's showing them. That's taking it to the man. Yeah. Making it to where you can never have children. That's, that'll show them. That'll show them. Newsweek has contacted Trump's transition team via email for comment. Last week, a 39-year-old from Washington State who did not want to be named underwent a bilateral salpingectomy in which her fallopian tubes were removed. I am not happy that I felt forced into a surgery I did not want to alter my body. I feel like the election tied my hands and forced me to be sterilized. That is horrible. These people would do anything but take responsibility for themselves. You were forced, the, the election forced you to be sterilized? You made that choice because you're unwilling to take responsibility for other parts of your life. Again, be more responsible with who you're sleeping with. Don't have unprotected sex. Get on birth control. I mean, there are so many... Again, I, these people have to be unwell. You're going to go through this process of, like, as she says, altering your body because you are unwilling to just change your behavior and you know again nobody forced you into this you chose to do this because you're an idiot the issue of abortion and reproductive rights was a major one in this year's election trump who took credit for the supreme court's overturning of roe v wade in 2022 removing the constitutional right to an abortion in the country has repeatedly said that his position is that is to let the states decide their own abortion laws yes that's where it should have been it never should have been under the purview of the federal government it's up to the states and look, if you live in a state in which the abortion restrictions are more severe than others, you're going to have to travel a bit. Or you could be more responsible with sex. He has also said he would veto a national abortion ban, writing on Truth Social in October. I would not support a federal abortion ban under any circumstances and would, in fact, veto it because it is up to the states to decide based on the will of their voters, the will of the people. Yes, that's how it's supposed to be. Very reasonable. But this has not quelled the fears of multiple women who, on top of being worried about access to abortion, are also concerned about whether the availability of birth control will be impacted. Yeah, so look, this is a better question. And I, and I, I, I think this is something that should be more talked about, is like if there's going to be restrictions on, a birth, on birth control in different ways. That's a much better conversation to have 
you know, instead of, oh, the, the, the necessity to sterilize oneself because you can't have an abortion. Again, because it just, bottom line is you could just alter your behavior. And you don't even have to alter it drastically. I mean, maybe for some of these people it might be drastic, but just be more responsible with who you're sleeping with and, and take precautions. The woman from Washington has not told those close to her that she has been sterilized. And she was in a, she, since she was a child, she has known she does not want children. Okay, well, you know, if you know you don't want children, fine, whatever. But pe you know, look, here's another thing too. I know that when I was younger at one point, I thought I didn't want children either. And I do now. So you do change your mind, and especially as you get older and you're kind of looking for some more meaning and value in your life, and, and children bring a lot of that, starting a family brings a lot of that, you know, um, people do change their minds later on. And so that's why it's important to not do these types of things, you know, especially if there's a they're either permanent or have the risk of being permanent, because you might change your mind. She and her husband, who had a vasectomy in 2021, both felt that they had experienced too much trauma as children themselves to be the parents they wanted to be. She's also struggled with multiple health issues, including polycystic ovary syndrome, which made pregnancy risky for her. But neither of us wanted to subject me to an unnecessary surgery or jeopardize my health. Okay, so this was always in the plan then. So why are they writing an article about this? I guess to make a point. It was always in the plan that you never wanted to have children and that you were probably going to have to, to do this anyway, I guess Trump was just the nail in the coffin. I don't know. I paid way too much attention to the vitriol Trump repeatedly spit during his previous term, she added, and keenly aware of the people he keeps around him and in his ear who all seem to see women as incubators and possessions to subjugate. Yeah, I don't think that's true. And I don't think there's any reason to actually think that that's true or that's the case. Uh, certainly looking at this administration, Trump has, there are a few positions that he's filled with women so far. Now, does that automatically mean, you know, that he doesn't have these opinions about women? No, but it certainly doesn't help the argument that he does. So I, I just don't think this is true. I don't think there's anything Trump has done or said that would make this be the case. The, women, the woman scheduled a sterilization appointment in October, fully planning to cancel the surgery the day after the election, assuming Kamala won. Okay, so then she wasn't planning this, and she wants to leave open the possibility that she wants children, even though she expressly stated that she didn't? Explicitly, excuse me. With Trump's victory, we quickly, quickly learned that my choice to cancel the surgery had been taken from me. She said, we both believe that I had no choice but to proceed to ensure that I can protect my health should I be assaulted during a Trump presidency, should my hus husband's vasectomy fail, and, and or should my hormone birth control become inaccessible. Yes, those are all what ifs. Again, I think there's a better conversation to have about the in inaccessibility about hormonal birth control. But the fact that you can't have an abortion after a certain point in time or that you might have to travel a bit. I mean, is, is, I, I don't see the problem here. And again, he's got a vasectomy and you're on birth control. The, the, the odds that you get pregnant are incredibly, incredibly slim. And again, you know, travel a little bit. She added, this isn't a wanted procedure, but one of necessity due to the politics and subjugation coming our way. Nobody is subjugating women. Nobody's interested in subjugating women here. 54% of white women voted for Trump. You think they're all, you think those women uh, were, are just okay with subjugation? I don't think so. It's because it's nonsense. This is a time to prepare and be prudent. Eccles said she had been wanting to be child-free for a very long time and is planning to get a bilateral salpingectomy with an endometrial ablation when the lining of the uterus is destroyed her doctor approved the procedure yada yada okay look you get the point um this woman sounds like she doesn't want children fine whatever for women out there you are most likely going to change your mind as you get older 
and so I would not do anything that has the that's either permanent or has the possibility of becoming permanent. I I don't see the the necessity to go under the knife. If you can avoid going on, under the knife for anything, you should. There are risks associated with all surgeries. It's just ridiculous when you can easily just change your behavior and take other precautions to ensure that you do not get pregnant. Now, this woman was in a relationship with her husband. He's got a vasectomy and she's on birth control. If you're not in that situation, then just stop sleeping around. <laughs> um, but look, at the end of the day, you know, none of these things justify murdering a child. And I've been clear my por uh, my position on abortion on this channel a thousand times. I'm okay with it up to a certain point, but after the fa after that point, it is murder. None of these things justify, you know, murdering a child. You know, the idea that you have trauma from your childhood and you're worried about how you're going to be a, as a parent doesn't justify murdering a child. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below, guys. If you disagree with anything I've said, please let me know why. Yeah, hysteria.